Hey guys, want a jelly bean? You can see on my table here that I have more tags, and by the time this video goes up, part one will have already been uploaded to YouTube. So this is Junk Your Stuff, Tags from Packaging, part two. Okay, so what I wanna do today is I wanna use up all these flowers. I've had these sitting around, I've tried them on several different things, they just didn't work. I'm tired of having them and not being able to use them because everything I try doesn't work, so we're gonna make them work on something. I wanna use those, I wanna use these two stickers that are left somehow, and I want to use some words. The rest of, well, some, I can't use all the words, but I want to use words. And that's all I'm going to focus on, unless, unless, unless I need something from here or here. But other than that, this is all I'm going to work with, okay? But the main goal is to use these flowers and use up some more words. And I have seven flowers, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So seven, if you count these two little ones as individual flowers, I might count them as one if I wanted to make one tag, but let's count seven. I've got my stack of tags, and this is only half of them. There's another half over there. I'm not even gonna pull out. And so let's just count out seven. One, two, three, well, I don't wanna do that one. Four, five, six, and let's use this one, seven. Okay, so we have seven tags that we're going to use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is decide how I want to cover these. And of course, you know, I'm gonna to go to that paper pad that I've been trying to use up and I'm going to glue all the tags onto the paper. So the first thing I'm gonna do is decide if I wanna cover both sides of the tag. And on some of these I do, and actually all of, well, two of them I won't. These two I'll leave like this, cause I like that. The rest of them I will cover. And so what I'm gonna do is pull out that pad of paper that we've been working on, trying to use up. I'm gonna grab two more sheets of paper and I've already taken them out. And I'm going to cover both sides of most of the tags. I'm gonna use these two sheets. The reason I'm using this one is because it has dark colors and it'll be the back. The reason I'm using this one is because I just don't like it and I want to use it and then I'm gonna cover it up, you know, like paint on it or something. So it's just, there, but you really can't see all of it. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Let me clear up this little mess here. So let's start with the back first. I'm gonna take these tags and I'm gonna glue them down. And I will have space for more tags. So, well, maybe not, maybe I won't. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna go ahead and make another one just so it isn't wasting paper, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna glue these down. I'll show you real quick so that you can, you should have seen it in the last video if you watched it. If not, then I'm just gonna take my glue, bring you a little closer. I think I need to change the battery in my remote there. Y'all are going dead on me. <laughs> Y'all are wearing out on me. Okay, then I'm gonna cover the back with glue, just gob of glue, gobs and gobs. Like this. And then put it down. And once all of them are on, I'm gonna cut it out. So let me do that real quick. And I will show you in between so that you see how it's going, okay? Okay, just like last time, the last video, here's the paper and all the tags are glued onto the back of the paper and I'm gonna cut them all out. Okay, I've got all the ones done for this side. Now, what you need to do next is make sure that you punch your holes out at the top because when you cover the next side, you're gonna lose your hole, unless you just wanna re-punch your hole. But punch out all your holes and then take your other paper and glue all your tags down on the other side and then cut them all out, okay? And I'll see you back here. Okay, I have all the backs covered, or fronts, whichever one I go with, I don't know. Don't forget to punch out your holes after you put the second piece of paper on. So now I have front and back covered. There are some extra ones that I didn't pull out to use, but I pulled out to cover because I knew I'd have the extra paper. So I don't remember what tags I started out with, so we'll just pick seven more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go with those. 
And then these don't have a back, but that's because I'm going to use the packaging like that, so they're done. And these only got covered on one side because I had extra space. So we're not going to use those anyway. So you've got all your holes punched. Trim them up if you need to. We're going to be putting stuff on the outside, so it's not going to matter. I'm going to do some painting on these because I don't like this paper. This one right here, I don't like it. So I'm covering it a lot. Okay, so now what I want to do is take a look. Where's my flowers? These are the things I want to use up the most. And these are the words I want to use. So we could go with colors like that. I want to use those up. And we might use those others over there. Okay, let's pick some paint. I actually have paint on my table from another project I'm working on. So I may just use these. I have Deco Art African Violet. I have Sea Breeze by Americana. I have Martha Stewart's, hmm, it's pearl, what is the color, twilight blue, and then I have this gunky uh, folk art umber brown, raw umber actually, raw umber, it's very gunky, so I don't know how much use we'll get out of it, but I may use these, and we're going to need some gesso, so that's probably the first thing I'm going to do is put some gesso down just to get started on covering these up. Okay, so I've got a brush here, and I'm just gonna put some gesso out on the, the tag, like this, and just scribble it in, okay? I'm gonna have extra, so I need a couple of tags out here. Because I'm not gonna put it everywhere. Although it looks like it, doesn't it? Put a lot on there. Oops. I already feel better getting rid of that paper as much as I have already. It just didn't suit me. It's, I don't know, the color, the, the tone, I, I don't know. I just don't like it. And I am getting some gesso on the back of my tags. You know what we say about that, right? All together now, we don't care. <laughs> I was gonna try to keep it clean, but I didn't, so oh well. Let's just go with it. It's okay. I may go ahead and put something on the back anyway like a a sticker or something so I can put my name on it and use up something else in my stash you never know you just never know this is all about using up my stuff so and hopefully you're using up your stuff too being inspired to use it in if you don't like it cover it up and start with something else okay so we've got our tags pretty much globbed. So now let's get a paint color. And let's start with the darker one first. Let's go with this. Let's go with the amber brown because it's really dark. No, we're not going to use that. We're going to use the violet, African violet. Let's put some on the mat. And let's just pick one of the tags. And I didn't clean my brush and I didn't clean my mat, so the back side's gonna get dirty. It's okay. And really, I don't know if I like the brush look or not. I might prefer my fingers. I don't know. We'll try it this way first. If I don't like it, we'll just cover everything up and start over. OK, 
Okay, you see how sloppy this is? It's not a neat process at all. I just wanted to get the green gone and that design, whatever was on there. Need a little bit more paint, just a little bit. Okay, so now we have paint on all of our tags. I'm not gonna clean this, but I am gonna kind of wipe it off on this paper towel. And I'm gonna clean this up just to keep from making a huge, huge disaster. You probably already have. I wanna dry these a little bit so I can bring in the next color. And the next color is probably gonna be this twilight blue, although I kinda wanna go to this color next. I wanna get this one out of the way because I don't want this color on top of this. I want this on top of those, okay? So let me dry these for a second and I'll come back and we'll finish up. Okay, we're back with this color and this is a pearl and I'm just using what I had on my desk. I didn't pick these, oops, they kinda picked me because I'm working in a, my art journal playing around with these colors. So. I'll give you a sneak peek of the art journal page. It's not done, but that's what I've been using the colors on. Okay. Alrighty, let's pour some out here. And I think what I want to use is a sponge because I don't want brush strokes on this one, but I do want it to be like padded on in different areas. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I want to leave the center open or not. Probably not. And I'm just putting this color anywhere where I can see green around the edges. And I'm going on top of the purple paint and some into the white. Wherever my fancy wants to go. Okay. Just very haphazardly, sloppily, funnily. <laughs> it's just fun not to have to worry. Okay. Bailey's in here sleeping in her bed. Bailey's doing good. Um, a little update on Bailey. And I know you've been getting information as it is, it, you've been getting information late because I've scheduled videos up and so you may hear something about Bailey that at the time the video goes up is old, old news. But she went on some herbs. The vet recommended some Chinese herbs for her and she seems to be doing well. The only thing we don't know is how well because we haven't had her blood checked and everything since she started them. So I don't know when that visit is. I don't know when that's gonna happen. But I thank you guys for asking about her and for praying for her and keeping her in your thoughts and commenting on her whenever you, you know, hear about her. I, I appreciate it. We've been taking real good care of her and making sure she gets all her herbs and her vitamins and everything she needs and a lot of stuff that she would like to have we don't give her. <laughs> and she seems to be doing good. So... We'll see what happens when we go to the vet next. She does have trouble jumping up now. She's getting older, so she does not like to. She's lost her confidence a little bit in jumping up on the couch, so she'll give it a few tries, and then she'll stop. And Buster used to do this. It was so adorable, my other beagle, when he got older. He would give it a couple tries, and then... Um, he'd look at me like, okay, I've tried, now help me. <laughs> so she's doing the same thing because the first couple times she did it, I just got up and went over and helped her. So now she does it and then she looks back at me like, help me. So I go help her and she doesn't feel confident jumping up on the bed anymore. So I'll sometimes just go get her and put her up on the bed and just 
lay down with her for a minute and snuggle with her. Okay, let me let those dry for a second and then we're gonna come in with Sea Breeze and we're gonna play with it and see what we can get. Okay, I didn't really dry them, I just sort of stared at them for a minute. But what I wanna do now, I have this piece of trash. It came from a, car, a chipboard mini book and I took the mini book apart and I set off some of it in Happy Mail, just individual pieces, like a tag, and you can add to it and everything. But I kept the packaging trash part because I like the scalloped edge. So what I want to do is I'm going to lay this down on my tags, and I'm going to put this color down. And I'm going to use my same sponge. I don't know if it's clean enough, but we're going to go with it anyway. And I'm going to see if I like it. I don't know if I like it. We're going to try. I thought about using a stencil or something, but I just didn't want to get that complicated. You can take a piece of paper and rip it and make your edge, or you can jagged it, you know, with scissors or scallop it. This just happens to be pre-made for me, so otherwise I was going to take one of those tags and tear it up. But I, I glanced over at my desk and remembered I had this. So I grabbed it. Okay. Let's just see what we get. Okay, I like it. All right, so now I'm just gonna do that on other ones. And I may do it in different areas. I may do it all over, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna play. Hey guys. I had a fast forward segment that I could talk to you for a second. I just wanted to say hello and say thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it that you're watching. I just appreciate the time you're spending. And Bailey says hello too. And do you notice the green jelly bean on the screen off to the right? Bailey said if I didn't eat it that Thomas Crown was going to eat it because green jelly beans were his favorite. I don't know how she knows that, but she knows these things. Okay. Now, if I knew where my paint book was, oh, there it is. Just add the rest of this into my paint book somewhere. Just throw the extra paint in your paint book or on some scrap tags or whatever you've got laying around that you throw extra paint into. Okay. There's that, and I think I can do one more somewhere. I don't, I don't really like this page. It's just where I goofed around and played around, and she is real old. She's going to. All right. It's a real good mark making tool there. So now, hmm, I think what I want to do is use the brown umber as a, as a wash not a wash, a glaze. So I may get my glazing medium out. I'm not sure yet. Let me evaluate these flowers. These are actually brads on the back. All right, so I still have a couple things I wanna use. I do wanna use this, and I think I wanna use some of this if possible. And still want to do the glazing and I don't like the color of the white on the flowers here so I thought I would glaze the flowers too with the brown umber after I glaze these hmm maybe I'll glaze everything after it's all put together maybe I'll do that okay let's try one of these and let's see what we can do let's just go ahead and add this on and I may cover it up but at least it's on there And we need some glue because these are really old and they won't stay. So I'm just going to glue them down. And I'm going to go ahead and get this one off too. Let's see, will it go there? Not quite. Well.
Okay, those are used up. I'll throw that away now. And let's go ahead and see what the flower would look like. Let's pull out two. Probably won't use them as brads. I'll probably close this back up and just glue them on. Okay. Let's see what we want on here. That, and I want a word. I don't want a word because I've already got a word on there, so let's not put a word on these. Okay, I've got some ribbon sitting here from the last video. And I like this one, and let me pull the other one out. And this one. I don't know if I'll use any other ones. But I thought I would like this just glued down right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to glue a strip there. I don't care if you can read that word. It's fine. And let's do this one. And maybe I should have uh, glazed these before, but too late now. I don't really like that one. Let's go with this one again. Okay, so this glue is just killing me. <laughs> it's killing me. It's killing me. All right, <clears throat> and I think I'll put this down here. Just go ahead and get it down. We'll let that dry. Now put this one down here. Maybe I want a black one on this one. Or maybe I want this one. Let's go with the black one. Okay, I'm going to set this off to dry too. And then I'm going to see what I want to do with the other ones. Okay, I have these stickers that I want to finish up. I don't think this one will work for what I want, but I'm going to try part of it. Maybe. I definitely want to use this one here. And these are pretty sticky, so I don't think I have to glue them down. But I'm going to use as much of the sticker as I can. Let's just, let's just cut it out to make it easier on ourselves to see how much actually will fit on the tag. If I go that way, it's going to run into the hole. Is this a bigger tag? I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. Um, put it in the center there. No, that'll run into it. Start down there. All right, we're going to use this one. And what I'll do is I'll just start at the top here. And I will put on there as much as will fit. That's not bad. Only a little bit wouldn't fit and trim off the edge and if you can salvage it salvage it but I'm at the point where I don't really care it's so minor so little that it really doesn't help me in any way so I'm just gonna throw it away okay so we've got that on there and I think we'll use the white flower right there. 
maybe there. I don't know. Let's wait on that one. And now let's use this one, this black one here. And we might get enough for two, depending on how I put it on there. So we'll see. If I do it in half, that would work. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it right there. Okay. So. Now we'll start at the bottom so I can line it up at the bottom. If I can get it up off of the paper here. There we go. And if I have to trim it some more, that's okay. Sorry if I got off camera. I had to get it close to me to make sure that I got it down right. Okay. So that one's done. And then we have this little piece left. And it'll fit on which one? The big tag? It'll fit on both. I'm going to do it on the big one though. I think it will look better. see a little bit down there but that's okay we're probably gonna go around it in black anyway so use that up and let's see we have these little corners I could use on these no idea how good it feels to use up this stuff. Maybe do. Maybe do. Maybe you understand. Okay. Just that one. And one more. So all that's left now is these, and I still have got a lot more tags, so I may be able to use those on those. Okay, I went through the tags and I decided what flower I wanted where, and we're just going to glue those on real quick. I still don't know where I want that one though, on what location of the tag. This one is going to go in the corner. And I don't care if this is covered. Just want a little bit to show. Okay, and this one, the same thing. I still haven't decided about the glazing, if I want to do a glazing or not. I might, I just don't know. Okay. And these, I know you would maybe think I'd use a big flower on these, but there's so much of this here, I decided to use the little flowers and just put them in one of the little spots there. And then this one. Okay, and then this one here is the one I keep fiddling around with because I don't know where I want the flower. Right there. Kind of looks like it's growing up out of that. Down here. Maybe right there. Okay. 
Now we're going to do words on the ones that don't have words. Let's go with the small ones first. And let's decide. One will be dreams. And this one will do smile. Okay, on these, trust on one. And this one, I'll put love on that one. And this one, to explore. I was going to use my sari ribbon to finish these tags off, but I decided not to. This is the jar that I emptied with all of those other um, the, the junk journals I made. I told you I emptied this whole jar and then I filled it with my sari ribbon. This is all that's left. So I decided not to use that though. I am going to use something else and I'll show you in a second. But first what I want to do is go around my edges and I think I'll use my Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink in black instead of the brown. I usually go with brown, but I think I'll use black. So let me grab that and we'll do that. Okay. And I still haven't done any staining to these flowers. I'm, I'm leaning against it now for some reason. I don't know why, but I am. So this is my black soot Distress Ink. And I will only do one on camera because it takes time to do these. So I'm just showing you what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do all the other ones. And then I'll come back. So I go inside the corners just a little bit. I'm going to do all these and I will be right back. Okay, I want to add the trim at the top now. And what I've decided to do instead of using my sari ribbon that I pulled out, I noticed on the side of the, my desk over there, my, well, this is my table, my desk is behind me. Um, I noticed that I had some ribbons out from something else and I just thought I want to use the yellow on here for some reason. And I grabbed the black that was also there. I have black, yellow, and green sitting over there. I don't remember why, probably the other tags. But I just pulled off enough to put the top of my tag and the way I do that is I decide how long I want my tails to be then I double it and then I add a little extra for turning purposes and I'm just going to layer them together and they're not the same length but that's okay grab them in the center ish <laughs> and scrunch them up and stick them to the hole and Yellow wasn't something I expected to pull in to this tag, but it I like it. It makes me feel happy, so I'm going to use it. And sometimes it's you got to fuss with it to get it to do right because it wants to bunch up here. So let me fix that. I'll be right back. Okay, to fix it, I just took it off and put it back on again. Sometimes you just have to fiddle with it and it'll work. Sometimes it won't. So, and because I used yellow ribbon and yellow nowhere else on the tag, I took some yellow paint. This is just Deco Art and it's uh, Daffodil Yellow. And I just dabbed my finger in it and I just put a little bit of yellow on the tag in about three different spots. Actually, I put it right here. And that kind of brings the yellow in. Okay, so let me get cleaned up here a minute. I've already done all the other tags and I'll show you them all together in one grouping. Okay, so here they are finished. And this is the one I just did for you, showing you how to put the ribbon on, which I know you already know that. But in case you don't, now you do. And here's the rest of them. And what we accomplished today was using up these flowers, some more words, some more ribbon, some more packaging, and some more of the like the sticker that I put on here, 
and more paper on the tags. Two whole pieces of paper out of that pad. Okay, so that's a big accomplishment. And these are still being glued because it's glued to that sticker sheet and it doesn't want to dry very, very fast. So I have to be careful, it wants to slide. And I finished up using those two words, enjoy and memories. They're gone, and a little bit more ribbon on the first two. Okay, so I enjoyed making these. I used up more of my stuff, and I can add these into the little tote over there that I've got that I'm using for the Happy Mail um, giveaway stuff. I already included some of the previous videos tags in the Happy Mail, I call it Happy Mail, in the giveaway that went out. And these will be um, maybe included in the next round. I'm not sure. I'm just throwing them in there. You never know what I'm going to pull out. So, okay. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all your kind comments. It's very sweet of you to, to leave them for me and take the time to watch. Thank you. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.